video we are going to see how we can create a spring mvc project for this go to file new maven create a simple web application click on web app we have to select this then next i'm going to use the same com.trainer but my artifact id name is mvc project then click on finish as you can see the artifact has been fetched let's wait for a while and then type by as you already know how to create a maven project okay here you can see the project is created and the project structure is also ready we are getting an error. We are going to solve this error. This is an index.jsv file. Here, let first check that this my project is Maven project is working. Let's solve this error. So Java X is not available. So let's go and add start the server first. Let me see. It starts. What allow? Okay, the Tomcat server started. Now let's solve this error. Go to build path, configure build path, and then project facets. Okay, run times. Here you can see the dynamic build model is selected. Run time. Click this and apply and close. As you can see, the error is gone. Let's just run this. Run as run on server. Select the server. Always use the server. Next. Or else you can finish directly. Okay. Restarting the server. Okay. Hello world. This printed. So my project is working. Now let's configure our own particular view so just let's create okay let's just create our own views folder inside web inf so right click new create a folder views this will be inside my web inf finish then I click on use new I'm going to create a JSP file click on others JSP I want the file JSP file next let me just change the name of my file I'm going to use welcome dot JSP and finish Okay, now I'm going to just give a body h1 tag to say hello spring mvc. Save the file. Okay, this is my view. Now let me just delete this file to show you the default view is not there which was created. I want this view. This is web.xml file. Now I'm going to configure the handler. This will have the dispatcher servlet, which is required for the controller. So servlet is a tag. Inside the servlet, we are going to have the servlet name. I'm going to use my MVC. See. Okay, then a servlet class. Okay, now I'm not having the dispatcher servlet class. Let's just check it out. Dispatcher servlet. There is no dispatcher servlet here. As you can see. Now, let's cancel this and open the pom.xml file. We, are, we need to add the spring web dependency go to maven repository S 
सर्च स्प्रिंग वेब एम वी सी रिपोजिटरी स्कूल डाउन आई वॉन्ट टू टेक द फाइव वर्जन फाइव पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फोर जस्ट क्लिक इट इट विल बी कॉपी गो टू योर इक्लिप्स एंड एट द डिपेंडेंसीज इन साइड द पॉम्प एंड सेव इट now again go to your web.xml which is the handler which will give you the dispatcher servlet now again find dispatcher i'm just using control shift t for getting this dialog open time here you can see dispatcher servlet open we need the class name this is just close the console here Then just paste the class name, and we also need the package name. This is the package name. Copy and paste. This is the WebXML is the first controller, and dispatcher servlet will help us to find the beans which are required. The last is servlet mapping. We are going to map the URLs here. servlet mapping will have the same servlet name just copy and paste it and url mapping i'm going to use a slash this is url map pattern okay we have completed our first handler now let me show you why i have written this this is my servlet name okay okay views is my welcome let's just run the file i know Uh, here will I will get an error because I have not created my servlet my MVC. Okay, the server is starting. Here you can see an error. File not found. I/O exception. Web INF. There is no file. Search my MVC hyphen servlet. There is no file inside web INF. So I have to create it. I am just going to copy it and click on web INF. Right click. New. I'm going to create a XML file. So I'm going to write XML. Click this. Next. Remember the name must be same as you have given the servlet name. Servlet. Dot XML hyphen servlet dot XML. This will be the servlet file, which will tell where where is a view file from the controller. Okay. Let me show you again how to copy Spring configuration schemas. in a first lecture i have shown you this those who don't know they can go and see the spring configuration lecture so spring configure go down i normally use this java to block scroll down okay copy this xml schemas and paste here Let me just close the beam. Okay. This is already there. This is a schema definition. Now let's create the beam. We are going to use a beam. Okay. There will be a class. Control Shift T. The class is Internal Resource View Resolver. The second one, Spring dot IO package. Visual Spring Framework. Dot web. Just copy the class name and paste. We also need the package name. And then paste it. A dot. Okay. Let me just close this console and write the bean name. we are going to give the id i'm going to use id is equals to view resolver okay this bin will take two properties okay just okay i'm going to insert your property it is going to take two property 
the first property that use the property tag is the prefix this particular prefix will tell where is the views file where to go and search so prefix the value will be where is your views folder so go and see my views folder is at webinf okay so just backward slash web inf and then forward slash views forward slash okay this must be same please don't write in small letters web inf then the second property is suffixes the files extension is given inside the suffix as you can see my files extension is .gsp okay this is my view resolver this will tell which where is my view now let's just save this file let's create a controller as you can see i don't have my source start main less java so go to a build path configure build path here you can see these are not there so click add this three files apply and close here you can see i got my main slash java so right click create a package first i'm going to have a package of controllers controllers then finish then inside this i'm going to create my first controller class that will be my home controller finish we are going to add it uh, with a notation controller which will tell this spring to use this is the controller rather than using the default controller so controller from org.spring framework dot studio type notation inside your home controller i'm going to create a method which will return model and view model and view is a class here so i'm just going to write model and view class and get the page and inside this i'm going to just create an object of model and view class reference is equals to new model and view then m dot set view name the view which we want mine is let me just go and verify inside web inf views welcome do we don't have to write the extension because we have already specified it in the uh, internal resource file your bean configuration welcome and just return the model reference now the last step is to give a request mapping url at the request mapping in round bracket let me just write a url i'm going to write uh, let me just see i'm going to write display here okay so all the configurations are done okay but i have to tell my spring where my controller is to copy your package go to your bean and then write the context component scan this will give you the package name where is where the actual controller is so let's save this okay i've saved my class let me try to run my project go down run as run on server okay let's save our files every file should be saved restart the server okay my server is restarting okay i have not specified the mapping so let me go and see my mapping it's display just copy okay not here it's my browser is this okay here i can write display so my page is displayed this is our controller spring it is using our controller than the default controller
So let us check how this application is working. If a user sends a request, the web XML file contains a dispatcher servlet. Here is my web XML. The dispatcher servlet. This is the dispatcher servlet location. Dispatcher servlet will tell which controller we need. That controller inside that controller, as you have seen, there is a model and view object that will return model and view. And dispatcher servlet will return the view with prefix name and suffix. As you can see here, prefix view and suffix. Okay, this will be returned. Okay, prefix is the location where INF views. This is the prefix. You can see here, we should write it exactly in capital only. And then the name of your file and the suffix. Here the suffix is .gsp file. Using .gsp. Okay. Okay, the view get returns to the user, which is displayed. This, okay. this is the front controller. Thank you.